Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, we've got a different review today. This is a Model T 1913 Speedster, American sports car. Uh, it's by ICM. The model kit number is 24015. We've got a nice uh, picture on the front of the box depicting um, the, the Speedster, obviously sat wherever. Um, it's 124th scale. Uh, just a quick look around these. We've got a little bit of information on the side there. If you want to read that, just pause it and have a look. And then we've just basically got uh, we've got a bit of multiple view angles from there. And uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Um, it's unusual. I've never seen a kit um, like this. Um, for these old type cars, they're obviously out there. It's just this is the first one I've seen. Um, so I looked at it. The colours were nice on it, and it just appealed to me because it was different. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to give it a go. It looks, it it will look nice next to all the modern sort of rally cars I've got on the shelf at the moment. So let's uh, let's delve into it and have a look. We'll start off. As we always do, uh, looking at the manual, uh, which is a nice sort of uh, s sort of satin sheen on the paper, and uh, we start. We've got our sprue maps. Uh, the red denotes parts we're not going to use, and straight into the build. The first page is sort of dealing with the engine. You've got the uh, radiator going in there. We've got parts of the chassis, uh, front cover of the radiator going on there. Um, oddly enough, they've got... No, that's the back of the radiator going on there, sorry, because the front's going on there. Then that all attaches. Um, we've got this, what would be like a... Is that... No, is that a steering... So that would be the steering rack or not? No, not sure. Yeah, that's going to be the steering rack. Um, supports for the engine um, and various sort of axle components and steering components going in there. And then we flip over and these are connecting to the back. We've got the old style exhaust going on there. Um, engine components going in, uh, more steering. Um, more supports underneath um, these are going to the uh, I guess this is to hold this I don't know to be honest wheels going into there into the tires um, wheels going on the car and then we've got a radiator housing coming down we've got the engine hood or engine compartment flaps uh, I guess you can have them open or shut up to you I would probably leave them loose uh, if you can't glue them in a sort of open position all depends how the engine looks underneath um, then we've got the car seats going in which look rather like they belong in the old pub down the road the uh, fuel tank which sits directly behind the driver and passenger seat so they can literally reach back and touch it. Um, <laughs> not dangerous at all. Then we've got the, uh, I guess it's the clutch and accelerator and brake maybe. Um, steering rack, steering column, I guess. And this is the steering wheel going together and then the little windshield that clamps to the steering column so that uh, you don't get flies in your face and then that all goes assembled together along with the lights from the front and the spot lamps from the front which actually probably run on candle power especially these side units which uh, go either side of the door they've probably just got candles in and then you're finished um, and then we turn over last page we've got a lovely colour colour call out on uh, the different paints to use which are given to you in the form of Revel or Tamiya um, so yeah everyone's got those so that's the instructions let's start looking at the 
plastic. So we start, this is the back side of many of the components there. So um, these are the seats uh, and the seat bay sort of where you sit. So we can see that they've they've got a um, texture, not a texture. Uh, they've sort of been moulded with um, for like fabric, uh, like leather, and you can see that in the way they've been moulded. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just about see that. And we've got the chairs. Uh, that they sit in with the uh, they're obviously the leather type and then there you can see the the um, cushioning on the walls of the chair and various other parts we've got two Ford not sure what they're off yet but they've got the Ford logo on there and uh, this will be the, this is either the steering wheel I think that's the steering wheel and I think the lens goes on that piece there but uh, plastic seems okay there doesn't appear to be too the sink marks well, I mean, you've got them on the seat there, but they're going to be covered. You're not going to see them. Um, plastic seems okay. Uh, the tiny pieces, I'm not seeing any flash on any of those tiny pieces. Um, which is, I mean, it's interesting because I, just a quick, li brief little bit of history there. This kit was actually first released in 1960 um, under the monogram label and uh it's had various retools rebox well it's had various reboxings and new parts added over the next sort of 40 years and uh it's gone through from monogram and then it was revel stroke monogram um i believe testers run it for a bit and uh it finally sort of came to uh, ICM and they retooled it in uh, so it's had complete new tooling in 2014 I believe off the top of my head I think it's 2014 and um, uh, so it's how much of the original kit is left I don't know um, but looking at this I certainly don't think that there's much of the old kit left, the old tooling, because this is um, there's barely any flash on it. Well, to be honest, I haven't seen any flash on it yet. It's not got any sharp burrs or areas that are, you know. So we've got the wheels here, and again, no flash. They're crisply moulded. Yeah, so I think this is all all new tooling. For all intents and purposes, it's a new kit, really. Although it's been it was first released in 1960. Um, this is way too um, crisp and clean to be a old old tooling, definitely. Here we see, I mean, I uh, oh, thought that was a sink mark then, but it's not. I mean, look at the, the radiator. Let me lift that light up a bit. Look how marvellous that moulding is on that Ford logo. And you've got the... Uh, That right front radiator is, uh, yeah, it just looks fantastic. And you've got all the uh, fine moulding on the uh, lamps. There's no flash on them. Just flip them over. Look how clean they are. 
few sink marks there not to worry you're not going to see them superbly clean pop them just there and then we've got the big sprue so this has got the uh, base or I guess you'd say this is the sort of chassis sub-assembly and uh, again no flash no that's not flash beautiful beautiful moulding we've got some texture on the bottom look at the foot plates The level of detail that's gone into this is uh, quite phenomenal really let me just just want you to see the foot plates look at the foot plates they're going to look fantastic all painted up with chrome and then we've got the uh, we've got the textured surface on there and coming along we've got part of the engine and the front um, I'm guessing this is the front uh, steering uh, axle whatever <laughs> more bits of the engine the, the front uh, two sections that are obviously gonna be glued together and we've got the radiator housing there with its sort of chamfered design on it. Let me just flip that over. The rear of the radiator. Again with... Uh, it's got a textured surface. Just going to turn the lights down on that. So or even turn it off sometimes turning the light off uh, helps the camera better than turning it up we'll just give it a few minutes and see whether that helps any better and then we've got uh, we come over then to this side put it on lower and we have I'm not sure what these three parts something to do with the steering wheel I guess uh, and the lens what goes around the steering wheel here we've got the old exhaust uh, some various engine pieces there where I put my black piece of paper and then we've got our engine covers these are our engine covers here um, again you can see the hinge so you're not going to you're not really going to be able to hinge them I don't think because that's uh, let, let me just wait for it to go in So you can see there, on that one, you can see where that line is, that sort of uh, castellated line, that would be where your engine cover would, would hinge from. Um, and clearly that's you're not going to be able to do that unless you can somehow cut that out um, you may be able to cut that out straight but you wouldn't be able to get the same effect I don't think um, so I really don't know that's a bit of a disappointment it might just be a case of leaving them on 
um, loosely so that they can be plucked off and looked at separately and then we've got um, some more I think that might be the steering column that we're looking at there and some other little bits and bobs there I, I'm not sure what any of them are but uh, I'm just showing you them so <laughs> really is fantastic plastic very very good that brings us up to we've got the uh, these are the tyres um, I don't know what they're then they appear they are a, a they are a rubber actually or are they vinyl um, they've got a tread on them and they just need a little bit of clean up around the edge and they're good to go on I would think um, I don't know whether these will require painting until I look a bit close, more closely into the history of the car. Uh, I don't think that generally these tyres are, are bright white. I think they're probably moulded the right colour they are now. Um, so I honestly don't think I'll be painting these. Uh, oh struggling to go in there come on let's pop that there and then we've got our I'm not going to open this one but in this bag is the little lens that sits up in front of the driver so the driver's uh, got this little tiny lens in front of him which is clamped to the steering column we'll take these out and look at these Yeah, the plastic's lovely and clear. Um, but after looking at the rest of the kit, I would expect nothing else. Um, I know I watched this morning that uh, Sebastian Schuf done a review on um, a Zill, an ICM Zill kit. And I watched his uh, build of it. And he was very impressed with the uh, ICM kit. And I've got to say, um, I'm, I'm beginning to think that, yeah, the same. This is an ICM kit. It's very impressive, very impressive. If it builds as well as it looks and as well as um, uh, Sebastian Schuf built his, then uh, ICM kits may be one to watch for the future. Um they're certainly bringing out a lot of builds lately. A lot of new kits come out from them. And uh, they tend to bring out a lot of kits that pique my interest as well. Um, a lot of unusual kits. Uh, more recently they brought out the Zill, uh, the Zill Russian Zill truck. And it came in the form of an ambulance or a fire engine. Um, I did try and pre-order... I think it was the fire engine, might have been the ambulance as well, uh, but for some reason the fire engine I didn't get, and the, Zill, the ambulance I didn't get either, so which was a shame, but uh, I'll look at getting them in the future because they are two kits that I want to build, so there we go. Um, lovely lovely uh, kit there from ICM one that I'm uh, really looking forward to building I'm actually probably going to be starting this later on today um, because uh, it really is one that I'm chomping at the bit to get built but for now I'll just pop all this back in here and then I can uh, look at building it later and uh, for the first time it's a kit that doesn't have any decals
I mean, nearly every kit I've bought has had decals. This is the first kit I've bought that intentionally doesn't have any decals. So, uh, that's great. Anyway, that's my review of the ICM Model T 1930 Speedster American Sports Car. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, or a thumbs down. Um, and uh, don't forget I've got my live show every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. GMT UK time. And we've also got a Spruce Surgeon Facebook page and YouTube page all connected together. Um, so we, I try and, I'm trying to put a bit more content out there on that. And I've got a few more builds coming up. Uh, I've still got a couple of reviews that uh, need to go out that were done a, a few weeks back. Um, so there's a couple of reviews going out that were done a few weeks back and then it will be uh, all, all the more up-to-date stuff. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, bye for now.